Morning guys. Uh, two things. One, um, I think if anybody's gonna phone somebody or her turn, anybody's gonna phone anybody or if they're going to, you know, do the hangout chat thing, check time zones. Don't phone me at six thirty in the morning because I will find you and I will beat your ass. Okay. Anyway, did you guys know that I own my own island? See? I'm on an island, in the middle of the kitchen. Anyway, this video is for Ramsey RC predominantly, my friend. I'm just waiting for the check to come in, and here it is. All sanded, all ground down. Yeah, there's some uneven surfaces, but you know, considering the tools that I have. It's kind of hard to get rid of all the gouges, but the paint fills most of that up anyway. That's why if you're going to use Rhino Liner or something like that, that stuff works the best for, for RC bumpers. But there it is, my friend. Good. Get the tilt points. Oops. Got the tilt points on there. If you look inside of there, you can just barely see the end of the nut hanging out. Because then you actually notch the frame or the big tube. Big tube is notched and then that is put inside. That was a nut. Center is drilled out. Notch the bumper, slide it in, and braze it. Same with that one. And this the bottom bracket is brazed all the way across there, across there, all the way across there, and down this side. Except on this one, I kind of yeah, kind of missed a tiny little bit right there, but it's still got braids from there. Thick braids all the way around. See, you can see what I mean, but you can still see some scratches. But like I said, paint get through that. Considering. Considering it took me 20 minutes to make these all toe points, they're just nuts, drilled out in the center and ground down. But this is literally, probably, I would get if I was to guesstimate, it's about nine hours, ten hours of straight work to do it. It's all done by hand. And when it's done being built, I spend about four or five hours grinding or sitting on the couch sanding to try and make it look as smooth and as clean as I can. There's the inside. Yeah. It's where you hide shit. But there it is. Bump new bumper bracket style. Like I said, every one of my bumpers is unique and built from scratch from the ground up. No plans. I just have a rough idea. I find my the main piece that I want to use, like in this case it's a big tube could be box tubing, find something to make a bracket. In this case it was part of a computer desk drawer. A couple of nuts, a little bit of brake tube, two pieces of bunny cage, two bolts. And you get a Conchella custom bumper. Hope you like it bro.